Hi there, it's New Zealand naturopath Eric Backer, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for checking out my video. I'm going to be doing a series of case histories over the next few weeks, uh, which may be of use for you. So, in my book Candida Crusher, <coughs> excuse me, there's about I think 25 case histories in here, out of the many thousands of people I've seen. So I've written a few of them up in here. So I'm going to go through a lot of these case studies. I'll read some text out of my book and then I'll elaborate on these cases and explain it a bit more as I go along. So I think you might find this um, of a lot of use. So in our first case history is a 19 year old lady called Kirsty. So this is out of chapter 2 of Candida Crusher. Kirsty's a young female student who came to my clinic about two years ago complaining of chronic fatigue. She was absolutely exhausted and found it hard to concentrate at university. Kirsty was falling asleep during the afternoon lectures and becoming increasingly anxious at her inability to concentrate. Her main complaints were foggy thinking, anxiety and depression, occasional vaginal yeast infection, intermittent pains in her tummy, nausea and small white spots on her body. Her mother had been a patient of my practice for some time, so she referred Kirsty to see me. <coughs> Excuse me. So when I questioned about her um, daughter's diet um, and lifestyle, so I, I gave her a call, I can remember calling this lady up. Sometimes I get um, very good information from relations of patients regarding the patient's behavior or desires, you know, their diet. And sometimes people are a bit embarrassed to give that information away. So I practice really in a small village here in New Zealand. Uh, you know, not that many people, and many people know people. <coughs> and um, for that reason, I often get a lot of inside information on people. It's surprising how often I go shopping and someone will say, oh, I've got to send my daughter to you or I've got to send my husband or things like that. And by the way, he drinks too much or things like that. You know, so you'll get information. So in, in Kirsty's case, uh, her mum told me that Kirsty likes to drink quite a lot of alcohol on Friday and Saturday nights, a lot of white wine, and she smokes a few cigarettes but likes to drink. And of course, when I saw Kirsty, she said she didn't drink much at all. But according to her mom, she's drinking like a bottle of wine a night, you know, on the weekends, and eating a lot of, you know, stuff that typical uni students eat, like two-minute noodles, and a lot of takeaway food. So, what I've written here, Kirsty showed me her arms, and I immediately identified a fungal skin complaint that I've commonly seen on arms and legs and torso of chronic candida patients for many years. I knew this was an, another chronic candida sufferer, and a doctor ran all the tests and found nothing wrong. A skin scraping was sent to the lab, which was inconclusive. So I've seen similar skin rashes before, and sometimes the doctors quick to say, oh, it's eczema, oh, it's psoriasis, oh, it's dermatitis, oh, it's blah, 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 some weird, you know, name. And sometimes I'll get referred to a dermatologist who come up with a name as long, you know, as like this long. And we've, yes, and I've just diagnosed this condition, and we've got this wonderful cream for this condition. I tend to call dermatologists cream specialists because all they do is give creams all day. I mean, how depressing is that? So we had a few consultations. I can remember working with Kirsty for some time, two or three consultations and a few Skype consultations. The big thing with young girls at that age is usually they've moved out of home. They've just, you know, uh, started university or college, uh, you know, and... Um, they miss their parents. Sometimes, if they haven't been introduced to alcohol, they'll cut loose and go crazy with booze. My daughter, you know, when she was 17, 18, would have a glass of wine here at home sometimes. So she got used to alcohol at a young age and she didn't go crazy with it. So many times when they go flatting or move into an apartment by themselves or with girlfriends or with their boyfriend, they'll often have crappy diets. They'll eat two minute noodles, they'll have pizzas, you know, they won't look after themselves properly, they'll be under high stress, study stress, financial stress, emotional stress, uh, you know, they're on the pill, uh, all these sorts of things. So they're basically a sitting duck for a yeast infection. Many of them get digestive problems. Uh, it's easy for them to eat at weird hours and get heartburn or bloating or constipation. Many, many of these girls also get urinary tract infections. You know, so these are some core issues that I tend to look at with patients. So the main thing really um, that needed doing in Kirsty's case was uh, the diet needed changing, the lifestyle needed changing. And these are sort of things I spent time talking to her about, about the need for eating quality proteins, cutting out the sweet foods, cutting the booze right back, right back. And of course we had a fantastic outcome with this patient like we do 
and patients comply, you know, patients say to me, I'm looking for a good doctor, and then I say to them, well, that's funny because I'm looking for a good patient. When we find good patients that comply, the outcome is usually satisfactory. So that's just a bit about Kirsty and case number one, uh, you know, regarding her skin infection. Her skin's perfect now. Uh, we've had no, no more problems um, with her. So that's case number one. Thanks for tuning in.